very good morning from Mumbai. Um, as you know, we keep on sending you these videos to, to, to tell you about the situation here in India that we're facing due to the pandemic. Um, lately, the numbers are decreasing. Uh, these last days I was in, in the COVID areas in some of the hospitals we, we work with. And uh, fortunately, there are some beds uh, free available and the numbers are decreasing. But this is far from recovering from the pandemic. We must be prepared for the third wave and, uh, and for more burden and more drama, I should say, to come within the, ne within the next month. Uh, a lot of you will wonder, will, will ask why is it possible that, that the whole of the world is talking about normality and going back to normality. How come can it be possible that, that you must be prepared for a third wave, a fourth wave maybe? Uh, the reason is very simple. Uh, you know how many citizens India has. Not even a 4% of the population is vaccinated yet. Obviously, vaccination is the only way we can achieve normality someday. We are um, decreasing slowly that uh, collaboration uh, with hospitals, that delivery of, of material, because as I told you, there are like uh, less patients nowadays, but we are increasing our daily approach to communities, our work for them and with them door to door, making sure that they get tested and they, are, they get registered for the vaccination. We strongly believe that vaccination is the only way to reach normality someday. Also, as, uh, as you know, the, the variants uh, here, like the Delta variant, is uh, starting to have again more changes. Now they are talking about the Delta Plus variant. So there are like multi multiple factors involving in a simple COVID. Also black fungus, uh, which now lately some scientists uh, say that it's not uh, because of the excessive use of asteroids during the treatment of, of COVID-19, but can be something quite linked to these, to these strains and to these uh, variants of the, of the virus. So uh, we already have some, some beneficiaries with black fungus. Black fungus has, uh, as you may know, 50% of mortality and the treatment is huge hugely hugely expensive extremely expensive it's impossible forget about low like poor communities even a middle class cannot achieve that treatment cannot cannot get it easily because it's very expensive it's also very difficult to get we are just trying our get our best right now we have a patient with it we're trying our best to get those injections to get those treatments and it's not easy. So there are a lot of components very linked to, to, to these strains and variants here that we're trying to, to fight against. Um, but there's another pandemic lying within, which is the pandemic of poverty. This pandemic of poverty that we are dealing with for the last 17 years leads to other components like lack of education for health, ignorance, and a lot of things that make us realize that vaccination for all will be quite challenging. That's why we are increasing that, that work door to door to make sure that the maximum number of citizens gets vaccinated. Also, um, I was uh, talking about a possible third wave, supposedly coming in, in October, but we don't know, maybe it can, it can come before. So also uh, among the team, we have started to prepare an agenda of uh, at least two or three free weeks for everybody to uh, decompress, to, to, to rest a little bit, uh, because we have been dealing with death for the last one year. So now we deserve a little bit to, to deal with life, at least for a couple of weeks, each, each one of us. Um, hopefully mine will come in, in this July. And, uh, and also to rest, to be prepared. 
as I was mentioning, to be prepared for this possible, probable third wave that will be quite important here in India. Definitely vaccination for all and definitely daily, daily work with communities. A work that is possible thanks to all of you. Thank you very much for your help and your support. Thank you very much. Dilse Dani Abad. Alhamdulillah shukrana. Merci beaucoup. Dankeschön. Danke bien.